What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to go over five games I hope to see at Gamescom 2022. Now, once again, I'm specifically talking about Jeff Keighley's live stream. Gamescom is a multi-day event, you know, in person, and there's a lot of games going to be in person that will not show up at the live stream. But I'm simply talking about, you know, the big two-hour event. Jeff Keighley has already given away, at the time I'm recording this, I think 13 different games that are going to be at that opening uh, live stream. It's possible by the time we get to Gamescom, we know every game except for, like, maybe two to four, so my list may maybe can't even work. But let's go through it. This is not, by the way, in any particular order, but let's start at number one in Somerville. So Somerville is an amazing, amazing looking game. I'm really looking forward to it. The issue with Somerville is it was slated to come out like around now, around the end of summer in sometime in the fall. It wasn't even at Xbox's last big event. They skipped over it. They did it last year, but not this year. I don't know if I'm necessarily worried about it, but considering it was supposed to come out around now and we haven't seen it on like a big stage in quite some time, I'm hoping Jeff Keighley would do it. I, I just feel, you know, games at this point that have unknown release dates make sense for him to do. You look at like the Outlast Trials he confirmed is going to be there. That's a game that is supposed to come out in the fall, but doesn't have a date. So you would expect, obviously, he would do something with that. Number two is going to be Horizon Forbidden West DLC. So this one's going a little bit out of, you know, left field. I think this makes sense. Um, obviously, Zero Dawn had the Frozen Wilds DLC that did really, really well. And also, in terms of story, like, really set up the second game. Almost more than the ending of, you know, the game, the, the base game. And, you know, it's been uh, six months at this point since Horizon Forbidden West came out. I don't know if it would come out this year. I kind of find that to be doubtful. But... You know, Jeff Keighley, I believe, last Gamescom gave the date for Horizon Forbidden West and showed a new kind of small length trailer. So it's not like Sony won't let it happen because they have let it happen in the past. I could see it. I could see I could see DLC, I guess, for Horizon in general. And then I think it kind of just makes sense that Jeff Keighley would do something like it. And now let's go back to back. Next one is Elden Ring DLC. Again, kind of a mix of what I want, because I do, I think Elden Ring DLC would actually be really cool, plus what makes sense, and what makes sense with Jeff Keighley. You know, he took a lot of pride in being, like, the spearhead for Elden Ring, you know, kind of bringing it back out, um, uh, you know, last year, and giving that release date and all that stuff. I mean, it was a big deal to him. I, I wouldn't be shocked. Well, number one, I wouldn't be shocked to get DLC for Elden Ring because when you sell almost 17 million units in like three, three and a half months, you know, you, I, I think you should probably, it's a business, even if you shouldn't do DLC, you probably would anyway. I think that makes sense. And then again, where better of a place would it be to be here? Same as Horizon, it's also six months from release, right? They released the same month. So it just kind of makes sense for both of these games. Like if you were going to do DLC, announcing it even though if it wouldn't release say even for another half year say it released around the one year anniversary of both of these games if you announced it six months after that's probably enough time to get some sort of concepts together to show something uh it makes sense on a big stage gamescom is a very big stage jeff keely is a big personality so that also makes sense number four is jedi survivor star wars jedi survivor uh, i really this is probably well this one and maybe the next one are probably my top two in what i would actually like want to see now we know things like the new tales on the borderlands is most likely there dead island 2 is most likely there the devil in me they actually said they're going to gamescom they got to give the date so we know that's good so there are plenty of games that i'm definitely interested in but in terms of games that are like mystery marks which you know jedi survivor would be i really want to see this game i don't think i'm alone i think a lot of people want to see it the issue let's bring up an issue of why this may not be there is because of the marvel disney showcase or disney marvel showcase in just a few weeks right september 9th i think it's like two and a half weeks after gamescom is their own thing where we know they're going to be showing off things with star wars games marvel games etc etc so it i think it makes more sense to show it there even though like gamescom is gaming you know and and it, i mean that that showcase uh, in a few weeks that's also for gaming but it's kind of like out of left field i mean i would like to see it here but i feel like it, it's it's going to be there i guess the consolation prize with survivor is if it's not at this event i do believe it'll be at that event so i would say within the next two three weeks we're gonna see it no matter you know wherever it ends up being we're gonna see it within the next like three or so weeks but i think that game would be really cool and that would be 
you know, a 2023 game. Jeff Keighley talked about that. A lot of these games are going to be 2023 and beyond games. Beyond is interesting, isn't it? Because what, you know, 2024 and onward is that GTA. We'll talk about that in future videos. Last one, though, is Wolf Among Us 2. It's been, I believe, since February. February is when we saw the trailer, which looked, you know, incredible. And it's where we also learned that, you know, the game's not coming out this year. Um, we didn't really know for sure if it ever was going to come out this year, but they said that next year was when the game was going to come out. So, you know, I, I put this as semi-likely. I mean, you have the connection with Jeff in that he revealed The Wolf Among Us 2 back at the Game Awards several years ago. So you have past connection. It's again been six. It's been half a year. That's a long time. And also, you know, 2023, if it's in the first half, which we don't know, but if it is, that's a pretty solid, you know, argument to be made that, again, if Jeff is talking about games that are releasing, say, over the next two years, that fits right in, and I feel like you could do something with that show. Another, uh, I don't know if you show, like, another trailer, because you just did. Maybe we should see gameplay at this point, but maybe it's a trailer, and maybe you give a release date. Depends on, obviously, when it comes out, but I, I, I think this one is almost like a, a Dark Horse candidate, where I, I could see it not being there, but it also kind of makes sense that it would. So let me know what you guys think. Again, there are plenty of games going. There's games that Jeff has confirmed. There's also games that we know are going to be there that he hasn't confirmed yet. So I'm going to do one final video on this. Um, I believe maybe the day before where I predict, you know, kind of we run through everything with Gamescom. So that should be fun. I'm also co-streaming it. So if you guys want to watch it live with me, come back on Tuesday and we'll watch it all together. So let me know what you think. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I'll see you all on the next one.